jump right into it. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you, Father, for your presence. We thank you, Lord, for what you're doing. We give you glory. We just look to you right now. Holy Spirit, we ask that you teach us and guide us. Lord, what we need, we just open our ears to hear from you today in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, uh, I'm on a uh, Wednesday night um, when I was sharing, I, uh, you know, sometimes what you're sharing which comes out of your mouth is revelation uh, at the time you're doing it. And if you've ever uh, taught or anything like that, you'll maybe have experienced that. Anyway, there was a part that I talked about, about the leaven. And we, uh, and I just really been thinking about that a lot, about uh, that we are the the leaven in the world and what and uh, how that leaven grows. And uh, in Matthew uh, thirteen thirty three, um, and it's Jesus had another parable. He spoke to them: the kingdom of heaven is like leaven, which a woman took and hid in three measures of meal, till it was all leavened. And uh, I think all of you are familiar with, with uh, leaven or yeast that you put into, to uh, bread and, and you know I have I have a I have two bread recipes that I, I make from time to time and one of them uh, is a bread recipe we got from um, hmm, yeah, I went blank on her name she was from Wisconsin huh, no. Um, is the Armenian bread. It was actually from, uh, can't think of her name. Yes, but yeah, Linda, uh, she lived here for a little bit. Uh, Sukiyasian or so, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, Suki. But anyway, in, in that recipe, there's 12 cups of flour, there's three cups of butter. <laughs> it's going good, isn't it? One cup of sugar, seven eggs two cups of milk, salt, and a package of yeast. So, you know, there's, that's, a, that's a lot of flour, 12 cups of flour, and three cups of butter, and, you know, seven eggs, that's a lot. Well, then I have another recipe, and, of course, and, and that makes four big braided loaves. I mean, it makes a lot. But it has one, one pack of yeast in it. Then I have my uh, mother-in-law Gladys's recipe for dinner rolls, it has three cups of flour, and a fourth a cup of butter, and a half a cup of sugar. Except we just I, we bumped that up. We discovered I put too much sugar in it. And we liked it, so now we're and uh, one egg, one cup of hot water, salt, and one package of yeast. And they both just you know just rise. And and I know probably eventually on. If you add enough flour and enough eggs and stuff, you're going to have to add more yeast at some point. But there's a big difference in the recipe where you have that much more, but you don't add any more yeast. And I was just thinking about that. It doesn't matter, you know, the, the size of the, the lump, you know, sort of probably to a certain point, but it only takes one package of yeast to do it. And uh, so no matter how big the problem, how big the, the thing that we're looking at, you know, it's the, the yeast is active enough and alive enough that it can take care. And, you know, that to rise and with three cups of butter to push that bread, because that's a heavy, heavy bread, but it, it's, uh, it just takes off. And so, you know, I was thinking about, and I was saying Wednesday night, that we need, we need a little leaven in our, in our country. <laughs> We need the, not the leaven of sin, but the leaven of righteousness, the leaven of life. And, and so Jesus is talking about that the kingdom of heaven is like that. That it's like we put a little leaven in there and it gets into the whole loaf. And so, you know, it's time to, to, to put leaven and to, uh, to release leaven into our country, into our, wherever we are. And uh, so I was just, you know, just thinking, thinking about that. And, you know, Jesus released the leaven as soon as he started preaching. I mean, because he started establishing the kingdom. You know, it probably actually happened when he was, was born. But he began to, to, to uh, release the leaven. And it, it says in Matthew four seventeen, From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, repent. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. So immediately he starts talking about the kingdom of heaven. And the kingdom of heaven is like 
the, the leaven that goes out and, and, and it uh, begins to change things and expand. And in Matthew 4, 23, And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all kinds of sickness and all kinds of diseases among the people. And then again, it's, it's repeated in Matthew 9, 35, Then Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. And what Jesus was doing is he was, he was putting in the leaven. He was, he was preaching the kingdom. And wherever he preached that, wherever he went, he was putting that out. You know, um, you know and so you know, how did he do that? You know, this, so we start to learn about kingdom principles. How, do, how does the kingdom expand? How do we put the leaven into things? Because we, we need that. We need, uh, you know, I was just, you know, Wednesday night when I was talking, it just hit me to have the, the leaven of the Lord and of God in our Congress. And that's what I was going to talk about. And then how, if we, if we believe that leaven, I mean, it just begins, it does the work. I mean, it, but it, it, it is ignited by our faith. But it, it doesn't take a whole lot. Just one package of yeast. Just one package. You know, and uh, we know they, they're a little heavy set there, so uh, it doesn't matter. But praise God, just a little bit can get into the whole thing. And, you know, lots of times we have more faith in the leaven of sin than we do in the leaven of the kingdom. You know, because, I mean, we'll preach that, you know, a little bit of sin. And we know that. We need to take care of the sin because it can get into things. But we should have more faith in the leaven of righteousness and the leaven of the kingdom. And pray that direction, that just a little bit, it'll just, it'll just leaven the whole loaf. And again, it's that principle that, you know, light's, light is more powerful and greater than darkness. Amen? Yeah. And so everything about the kingdom, everything about light is greater. And so, you know, Jesus went around and he began to release the leaven of the kingdom. Because he began to preach it. And, uh, you know, and mainly he went preaching and teaching through his mouth. He released the leaven of the kingdom. What he, what he spoke, he began to, to teach, and he opened his mouth and began to do that. And, of course, Jesus had faith. I don't know if we ever think about that, but Jesus believed. He knew that the word of God was true. He acted upon the word of God. He was obedient to the word of God. So he, he, he acted in faith. He, you know, he, he took it to the synagogues and the city and the villages, and uh, uh, it wasn't just inside the yeast packet. You know, you can throw the yeast packet in with the bread, but you've got to tear open the yeast packet for the yeast to do any good. It has to be out. And I don't know if you've ever looked at that stuff. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's just little, and I don't know if all yeast is the same. I don't know. I'm not a, I am not a yeast expert. But, you know, it's just little tiny granules. And then when you get it uh, activated, you know, it just starts puffing up. And it's kind of sticky. You know, it has a sticky texture. And, and I don't know if you're supposed to do this or not, but uh, this is where some of my stuff kicks in. Every one of them needs to, you know, I don't want anything. I make sure that it's all getting going and there's nothing stuck to the side and, and to activate that. But it has to get outside of that yeast packet. And, uh, you know, there, there, there are people... And, and, and uh, have talked about, you know, we've got to get outside of the church. Well, Jesus went into, the, into the, their place of worship at that time because he was releasing the leaven, leaven everywhere, inside the church, outside the church, in the place of worship. And, and uh, the thing is, is where we release it is from the, on, the inside of us. This morning, we're, we're going to release the leaven that's on the inside of us. Amen. Amen? It doesn't matter. I mean, and there's people say, well, you know, no, the things aren't going to work unless, you know, we go outside the church. Well, they should be working in the church and outside the church. That doesn't have anything to do with it. The place that we're releasing it from is from the inside of this temple. This temple right here we release. And we allow the life of God to get into everything. So this morning, uh, you guys are all little tiny granules. And, uh, and, uh, and we want to release that. We want to activate that. 
And so we activate that. Um, you know, we know we already got it. We already know we have it, but we need to activate it. And it's a continuing activation. You know, we get new, we get new bread, new yeast every morning. And there's always more to activate. There's more to release. And so this morning, we're just going to, we're going to activate what we have on the inside of us, and it's going to affect our service this morning. Because we are, we're going to release it. And a little bit of leaven. I don't know if you've ever been in a, in a service, and I have, where maybe just one or two people get really excited in the Lord, and they begin to praise and worship the Lord, and it just kind of rubs off on everybody else. Yeah. A little bit of leaven gets everybody going, right? And uh, you begin to hear, you know, the word of truth, and you know, yeah. And it begins to ignite, it begins to activate. And you've sat in a service where you hear, you hear words of life. It begins to activate things on the inside of you. It begins to spread. And so, um, praise God. Um, and so we, you know, and also it is kind of funny. You know, we want to take, we want to take the, uh, you know, we need it in the church. We need it out of the church. But nobody just, we don't have a, Bob, he's doing a good job. He watches everybody as they come in. But we don't check the world at the door. Have you ever noticed that the world does come in? You know, our flesh does show up at church. <laughs> and so, you know, taking, taking the, you know, it's not like, well, once we come in here, you guys don't need to hear it. Ah, there's a lot of people. We all need to hear, amen? And so we just want to activate wherever we're at, whether it's at, the, at Walmart or in church. Uh, that's not the idea. You know, Jesus, Jesus went wherever he went, and he was, was planting that leaven of the kingdom. And he did that, you know, through signs and miracles. You know, he began, he began to show, and, and signs and miracles, just think about that. As they began to happen, how that was like leaven who went out through the whole area. That word went forth, and it just, it, it affected that whole region. And thousands of people came to see him. That's leaven. That's getting into everything. And it affected everything. And so Jesus operated and began to reveal the kingdom through, through signs and wonders and miracles and healings. And he did it through love and compassion. It's pretty hard to... to, uh, to plant the leaven when you really want to kill the person that you're trying to leaven. <laughs> Amen? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're not, you're really wanting to use a sledgehammer instead of throw leaven on them. And uh, yeah, you just want to knead them. That's good. <laughs> Forget the leaven. Just <laughs> but it, he did it through love and compassion. And he just spread the kingdom through that. And so that's, you know, that's uh, important, you know, as we want to spread the kingdom. Um, there was a testimony that I heard about a, 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 a woman who was ministering to an abortion doctor. And uh, she would write him a note. And, uh, but she made him her doctor. She went to him. He was a he practicing physician on other things and would go to him. And, uh, and at the end, she says, well, I have a word from the Lord. He says that God loves you. And, uh, you know, he just kind of, you know, brushed that off. And then he, she'd send cookies and different things and I have a word for you. God loves you. Well, eventually he got out of it. But what was she doing? She was putting in the leaven of love. She wasn't compromising, but it was the leaven of love. And, uh, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know if any of you feel, uh, and I don't mean to be just totally uh, political, but if we all sent cookies to Pelosi. But anyway... <laughs> Yeah, but see, yeah, we we want that. But see, that's what we need is the leaven of of compassion that changes hearts, that changes touches their heart because you know compassion and you know it's a leaven that gets in there that that uh, is darkness has a hard time, uh, hatred has a hard time dealing with, and so um, you know he he did that through love and compassion. He that's how he spread the the yeast, how he spread that. And, of course, he did it through truth. You know, he always spoke the truth. It was, he didn't compromise. And sometimes it did sound harsh. It didn't sound like compassion, but it was. 
He was trying to bring people to the point of hearing, especially with the religious. You know, that's where it became harsh. But, uh, but truth, you know, it, and he, I don't think he spoke meanly, but it just, it, it was hard for them to hear because of the, of their, of, of their beliefs. But, but he always spoke the truth, truth, preaching and teaching the truth, saying the truth, opening our mouth and speaking the truth, that there's a God who loves you. And there's a, and that, you know, there is a way of destruction, but here's the way of everlasting life. And so, you know, he did it, he did it through truth, but never, never compromising. He did it through boldness and authority. That was one of the things that they marveled about Jesus, that, that, made, that marked him different from the scribes and the Pharisees, is that he spoke with authority. Uh, you know, I, I don't know what they sounded like, I guess I can imagine, but they, you know, he, he wasn't mousy, you know, and, but he spoke with boldness, and he spoke with authority. And he, he spread the leaven of the kingdom by, with, that, with that kind of added, with authority. He knew, he knew who he was. He knew who God was. And so he would speak with authority. And, you know, and they marveled at that. He was, he was different. And so you know, when we do speak and we do get up and we do share the truth and we do share in compassion, uh, we do it with authority and boldness. We're we're assured of, of the truth that we're sharing. That it is the the, the only way to, to receive, uh, salvation, and he did it through prayer. We don't see him so much, you know, praying for people, you know, uh, but he he spent time in prayer, uh, speaking out and declaring the kingdom in prayer. You know, we don't have, you know, we don't have all that, but we know that he spent time with the Father, seeing how the Father did things in prayer, and then he would take that into his walk. So through prayer, he was, that might be the kneading process, you know, where he was, he was speaking those things and declaring those things and, you know, getting those things planted in prayer. And then through the power of the Holy Spirit, you know, we, uh, he, whatever he did, he did in the power of the Spirit. He operated in the gifts of the Spirit. All of the, you know, the gifts operated in him. And he did, he, he planted by the power of the Holy Ghost. Um, and we carry that leaven. Uh, I, I suppose in a way we are the leaven. You know, we are the light. But that leaven's on the inside of us. And that's one of those things that, yeah, we have it. We already have it. But we need to tear the package open. You know, and, and with, with bread, when you're doing that, you add moisture, but you add oil. You know, butter is oil. And that leaven, when it's touched by the power of the Holy Spirit, it begins to grow. And it begins to be activated. You know, there's a lot, there's a lot of people who are saved, but they haven't activated. The, the, they're not activated. <laughs> Just put it that way. And, but when you're touched by, and you allow the Holy Spirit to touch, and, you know, you add that, that moisture, you add that water content, that, that water of the Word, and you add the Holy Spirit, you, things begin to grow, begin to change. And so, you know, when Jesus said that we do the same works, yeah, we're, we are casting and, and putting leaven into the world. And we allow the Holy Spirit to activate on the inside of us. You know, Steve List has always talked about activation, you know, to activate and release. And, uh, you know, you can, you can purposely, you know, we're not waiting for the stirring of the water. We're not waiting for the angels to sing hallelujah. Uh, we're not waiting for anything. We can actually activate that ourselves. We can just choose, you know, we're, 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 we're going to be activated this morning. And it will affect the whole service. Amen? Amen? And we can just choose to walk in that. We just allow the, the Holy Spirit just to activate the yeast that's there, activate it, and it just begins to do the work. You know, that, that yeast, I put it in there, and I stir it. Now I have a new mixer. I let the mixer stir it. Um, um, Paula and I are still having a competition. She's in heaven, but I noticed when we was out here for Christmas, she had a nice mixer, and I thought, well, Paula had one. I'm going to have to have one. So the competition goes on. 
say, Paula, look what I got. Yeah. She goes, well, you just wait. You see the one I got in heaven. Right? But, but, you know, when you stir it in there, you know, I, there's a lot I could try to do with that bread, but it's the yeast that does the work. You know, I do my part, but then it's the yeast that does the work. And you, and you know when you let the, what, ha what happens is you, you put it in there and then you set it aside. And you just let it grow. Amen? If you keep getting in there and trying to work with it, you're going to, you just let it grow. Amen? And so the, so the yeast, the yeast will do the work, or the word of God, or what's on the inside of us, that kingdom that's on the inside of us, when we release it, it'll do the work. We just release it. And uh, uh, today I just, and I, let's look at John 20, 19. And, uh, uh, yeah, 19. And it says, then the same day, is, uh, same day at evening, being the first day of the week, when the doors were shut where the disciples were assembled, for fear of, of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in the midst and said to them, peace be with, be with you. So they got the doors shut. The yeast packet is closed. They have not opened the yeast packet. When he, said, when he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. So Jesus said to them again, Peace to you. As the Father has sent, sent me, I also send you. And when he had said this, he, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Basically what he was saying, we're going to open up this kingdom. We're opening up the leaven. I am activating you today. And they were, they were fearful. And he said, peace. And then he, he said, he breathed on them, the Holy Spirit. And he said, I'm sending you. And that, me, you know, that, again, it doesn't have to be, out, it, it, it is outside the church, but it's inside the church too, where people need ministry. And he sends you to people who need ministry. That, you know, it doesn't matter. The walls don't mean anything. It's wherever you are, you're to, to, you're to give ministry and to, and to be um, touching people and ministering to people. And so, you know, he breathed on them, and he was, he was actually sending out them to be the leaven in the world. Amen? So this morning, we got five minutes. So what we're going to do is we're going to activate because we all got it, but we're going to purposely activate that which is on the inside. Amen? Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So, Father, we thank you. We praise you. I want you just to, if you want to, you don't have to stand up. If you want to stand up, I just want you to put your hands on your, on your belly. Praise God. Because everybody knows Jesus lives right behind the belly button. Praise God. <laughs> And we're just going to speak to it in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we just look to you to activate. To activate in the name of Jesus. Activate that leaven, that, that kingdom on the inside. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. And I want you to find somebody you're not married to. And I want you to go over and I want you to pray for them and speak, speak to that, that that's activated. You don't have to be your brother either. <laughs> she was looking. Just find somebody. Hallelujah. Over here, Dave. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That's where Mary's going. Hallelujah. And just speak activation in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Speak to that in the name of Jesus. Praise you, Father. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, thank you, Lord. Activating in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Those gifts, the Holy Ghost gifts activated in Jesus' name. Healings activated in Jesus' name. Words of truth activated in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 
And praise you, Lord. Signs and wonders activated in Jesus' name. Wisdom and understanding activated in Jesus' name. Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Shola la vokishne di diviato. Praise you, Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. It'll be activated in the service this morning. Hallelujah. That lives will be touched by the kingdom. Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Activated in praise and worship. Activated in the preaching and in the ministry. In Jesus' name, the kingdoms at work, the kingdoms at work. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Kingdom working in the praise and worship. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Activation, Hallelujah. Amen. Praise you, Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. I haven't studied this, so I don't know, but it just came, came to me. You know, in the Old Testament, they always ate unleavened bread. Because it, it, it was just, I don't know. But I was just thinking about that. You know, they just had the, they just had the law. But now we have grace and we have activation. Amen. 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 Man, I'm hungry for some home-baked bread now. <laughs> I can smell it. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. That's it. Hallelujah. <laughs>